whether it's like in Sambo or freestyle judo, you hold a guy and get your four points for your 20 second submission. The referee will say, okay, go for your submission, okay? Um, or you're in a submission grappling tournament, you're sticking a guy, you can't win by a pin, but you can get by a tap out. Stick him first, it's a good transition to get him there, and then we, we, we make him tap out. A couple of examples, I know a lot of you guys have ones you like to do, just a couple examples. Often you'll find from a north-south position, a Kamishio Gatami type thing, you can work a nice arm lock, choke, something like that. We were at the uh, Freestyle Judo Nationals, the guy from Croatia, uh, he, he choked a guy cold from a north-south Kamishio, did a beautiful lapel choke, and the guy put him to sleep. The guy didn't have time to tap out, it was a really good move. So. It's, it's very clever. So let's demo here. First one, north south, you want to do, what are you going to do, Udigarami? Yeah. Okay. So north south, Kamishi Hogatami, upper four corner hole. Derek's got this. Go ahead and talk it through, Derek. You've okay. got a good one. So um, uh, both hands go underneath the shoulders and then grip the belt and suck him in tight. Okay. When you get him there, you pinch his head with your knees so that it's harder for him to bridge out of it. Okay, now I'm controlling both his his shoulders as well as his hips. So he's got a good good north south. We know that. He's he's winning. We we want that. That's a good thing. Okay. And, and Dre's doing a good job acting and that he's he's an Academy acting. Award for the guy. All right. Okay, so from here I'm gonna pick which way I want to go. I'm gonna go this way. So I start squeezing that a little bit with my shoulder and then I let go of the far side and hug both arms or both arms around his arm. Okay? I haven't changed my other grip yet, okay, it's still there. I just hug both and pin it down. And then from there, once I'm sure I've got it, I let go and just bring my hand up to his wrist. As soon as I have the wrist, <coughs> I get my own wrist, and then I just try and paint his knuckles across the mat. And if you're doing it right, you shouldn't have to go very far because I've already got his head pinned, okay? So one more time. That really traps him by pinning his head. It keeps right. him from arching too much, too. Suck him in tight, pin his head, okay? Go down and pin his, his arm in between your forearm and your shoulder, close to the mat as you can get it. Let go of the far side, hug this arm, come up and get his wrist, grab my wrist, and then just paint across the mat, okay? I should be able to hold him from here, too. If I don't have it and he starts moving around again, I can still pin him from here, okay? If I have to, I just get his head again, squeeze it, 